we're here for this afternoon's matchup between the Bears and the Cowboys. These two head coaches today, they know each other, they respect one another, and they desperately want to beat the other. Yeah, of course they do. Shoot, these coaches are just like players. They can't wait to run across the field and shake the hand of the other guy and go, yep, got you today. And look, you get all this experience, Jim, they're going to give their players a chance to win it. They're going to put them in good situations. It's going to be fun to see how it turns out. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. They're all over him at the 18-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. Bryant's taking the handoff. Heading right. Gets it out to the 22. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Bryant's a receiver in the slot. Second and six. To Williams. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses him. It's third down coming up. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And complete. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. That reception gave them the first down. Romo's going to take the snap from the shotgun. That's Romo finding Bryant. Puts up six. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Cowboys will be kicking off. Signals right away, fair catch. The Bears line up in the pistol offense. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. That hit by Sean Lee. I know they want to come out and establish the run, but, boy, this defense right now is not bending. Uh, they're doing a good job so far, the defense, but on the offensive side, stay patient, keep pounding that football, and hopefully you can wear this defense down as the game goes along. Second and eight, the handoff to Matt Forte. Got the first, and he's got some space. Chicago in the end zone. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Throws the pass. Could have taken the one-point gimme. They went for the two, and they are turned away. 
Bears ready to kick the football. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. This big return going to set up his team in excellent field position. First down. Bryant's going to take the handoff now. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second and 12. Tony Romo uncorks the long pass. Allen for 46 yards. For so many years, get all these rinky dink dink and dunk quarterbacks. Now we got guys in there throwing it deep down the field. What a nice catch. What a really good deep throw. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Robo's going back to the air on this play. And he was wide open. Touchdown, Dallas. The fade round, it's a big part of every offense now in the NFL. We see it here. Look at the receiver. Pins the defender inside. Beautiful throw to the outside. Fade for a touchdown. The Cowboys for the point after. No, it's not. It's a fake. So, took down the touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. So they took a second look, but the play on the field will stand. Hester's got a chance to return this one. They crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. Forte's lined up in a single back formation. Matt Forte gets it here. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. First and 10, Matt Forte. They run right. The Bears will go with the pistol on this play. Second and ten. Here's the running play. Off tackle. They tackle it for a loss. Well, Jim, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. Third down and 11. He'll fire it out to the left. The Bears now move the chains. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Second down following the run. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And he's brought to the ground. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, and, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. That last pass completion sets up a third and nine. Cutler's got it in the gun looking to the right side and throwing. They pick up the first down with that reception. 
the quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Looking across the middle, under pressure and incomplete. Coming up, second down. The handoff to Matt Forte. Goes to the left. Touchdown and drawing close. You don't see a lot of them anymore because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. He made it. Robbie Gold ready to kick it. to the turf. The Cowboys will approach this play from out of the pistol. First and ten. The give. Flashing to the right side, and it's Charles Tillman who makes the play. That was a running play that time by the offense and picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second down and four. Throws to the right. Perfectly thrown. Right, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. DeMarco Murray gets the handoff. They pounce on him there. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Gain of four. And that will close out the first quarter in Arlington, Texas. We'll be back after the break for the start of the second. The Cowboys still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Set up screens. The pass complete. The tackle was made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. The Cowboys are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Challenging the defenders to the right side. He's got the touchdown. Something you always got to be alert for nowadays in the NFL. The fade route. The defense caught off guard just a little bit. Nice slow. Nice touchdown. The Cowboys now will tack on the extra point. And the point after is good. The Bears are ready to return the kick. And 
they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Offense lines up here. down and 10. Cutler is turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. The tackle is made at the 40-yard line. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it, you throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. and 10. Forte is going to secure the handoff. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second and 13. Trying to work that left side. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Cutler has still got the football after the play fake. The Bears get a first down. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Crossing routes, that's what you want to throw when you see this type of coverage. Four deep, cover four, look for guys going across the field. Hard for the defense to cover those throws. They face first down. Matt Forte gets it here. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind. But I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two-point conversion. And intercepted! That hurts. The two-point try is denied. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. They're setting up the return. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Split backfield here, first and 10, eyeing that left side. He's tackled at the 30. Every quarterback in the NFL loves this coverage where you got four defensive backs all playing deep. So in routes, anything across the middle, usually it's wide open. Good job by the quarterback taking advantage of the defense that time. A tackle behind the line. The quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. On the way, third down. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. Almost intercepted that time. Offense lines up here. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. The offense turns the ball over on that. 
Fortes lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Going off tackle here. Picks up nine. Well, when you're on the defensive side, if you read the offensive formation, where do they have the most numbers at? And that's usually where they're going to run the football. That time the offense goes to the strong side, gets outside, you should have an extra defender there waiting for him. Terrible job by the defense. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? The Bears now move the chains. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. after picking up the first on the ground. Back to the ground, runs it across. Touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. This works out about 40% of the time if you look back on it. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Bears ready to kick the football. And he'll start his return. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. They come to the line, and it's first down. Dez Bryant with the catch. Fights off the hit and gets the first down. Good job by the receiver running into that defense, through the zone, finding the open space, and making a nice catch. Drop back, shotgun formation. And he's forced to the ground. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there, hits the quarterback, and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Could have been intercepted. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Split backfield here. Nice, 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 nice. Working that left side. The interception. They've got him down there. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. down here Matt Forte left side well, that was a nice run that time off tackle and listen this is a bread and butter play in the NFL it's about power running can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out of it good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting and they hold the running back to a short game Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center Setting up a little screen. Tackles made. The Bears are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Don't always have to throw the football pass to yard markers. That's another thing I hate to hear. This time, the offense throws it behind the yard markers on the screen pass. Good execution. They pick up a first down.
They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. To the ground here. In on the stop. Second down now. Cutler's back in shotgun formation. The fakes the catch. Touchdown. Tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line. They're able to maneuver inside. Easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. They motion the receiver around to the other side. He's looking to the right. Put an additional two points on the board as they convert. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. Flag is out. Can you believe this? It was like what Carolina did in that Super Bowl 38 long ago after they had just tied it with about a minute to play and they kicked it out and set up the Patriots at the 40. You talk about just giving a team a huge break. Well, it just turns the game completely around where you're thinking about, hey, we're going to stop them and get field, good field position. Instead, you kick it out of bounds, and now you're just trying to hold on to get a chance to take the game into overtime. The Cowboys line up, split backfield. Now first and ten. The defense... Gets the sack. Oh, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. If nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. Bryant's going to get set in the slot for this snap. They've got him again. The Cowboys, one timeout remaining. Third down after the sack. Robo standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. The pass is off the mark, and that's a three and out. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Ready? 50, 50. Yellow, ready? Under. Romo's going to take it from the gun. Looking long. Daz Bryant is there. And he makes the catch. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. Good job by the offensive coordinator calling those plays. Leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping away at this lead. Now can the defense come out and help them out? Lining up now for the two. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. Cowboys will be kicking off. He'll have a chance to take off. snap and we'll head to halftime first and ten Jay Cutler with the deep ball and that ball's nearly picked off but he dropped it 
That does it for the first half. Cowboys trail in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Bears lead by five. Danielle's got an update from the sidelines. Let's go to her now, Danny. I got a chance to quickly speak with Sean Lee at halftime. His team is trailing up to this point, but he thinks his defense can turn this thing around, guys. He said we just need to create opportunities for our offense, whether that's turnovers or good field position. If we do that, we can come back. That's all for now, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. The third quarter begins with this play. The Bears now move the chains. Unstoppable. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Jay Cutler from the shotgun. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. Robbie Gold ready to kick it. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. <laughs> Offense lines up here, takes it on the counter. They bring him down at the 29-yard line. When you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses and the counter run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. It'll be third down. Murray's going to take it on the counter. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. Right on the money. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. First down here after the completion. Looking to the right side and throwing. Great job by the receiver that time, holding on to the football after the catch. What a hit by the defense. In this league, you better be able to catch it and take the big hit. Murray's a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Romo's going to take the snap from the shotgun. The reception, easy, wide open. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent it's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. First down, following the long play. Throws to the right. Touchdown, this game is tight. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch.
The Bears are ready to return the kick. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. Marshall's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten, looks to his left. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving, keep the defense guessing, make them react instead of attack. They've got a first down now after that catch. As good as it gets, touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field, and hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. Cutler's got it in the gun. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. And he begins his return. He's going to be tackled right around the 46-yard line. First down here. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. That reception gave them the first down. Wide open for the catch. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. He'll fire it out to the left. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back, they need to make a big play here. The replay rule comes into effect. The challenge pays off. The play is overturned. Yeah, so many close calls in the NFL. And we see it every single week. That's a good job by the head coach. Get the information, making that decision, and he wins. Got the touchdown, got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. formation. First to ten, the handoff to Matt Forte. Bringing the play to an end. Good job by the running back that time. Finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Staying with the running game on first down. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Forte's in the backfield, single back set. 
Second and 13. Matt Forte gets it here. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. Well, these plays do look ugly when they don't work. It's it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, third long, tough to do. Marshalls in the slot. Third and 15, and... Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did was watch the eyes of the quarterback, and he reacted. It put him in good position, and he knocks the football down. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Cutler steps back into the gun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. First down. Offense readying for the snap. They run the counter play. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. That time, it was an easy completion for the quarterback on the play-action pass. And it fools the defense because look how aggressive the offensive line is. They sold the play to the defense, and the quarterback took advantage. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Two tight ends on second and ten. He had no time to get set. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Trying to beat the play clock. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. And he makes the catch just past the touchdown. Dallas Cowboys. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history. And they'll so put down the touchdown and the two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. The receiving team has the recovery. Hayes lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. First and ten. Handoff up the middle. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. 
He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Second down and eight. Quarterback drops back, play action. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Matt Forte gains about three. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short gain. And that will close out the third quarter from Arlington, Texas. We'll be back after the break for the start of the fourth quarter. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. Play action. The Bears get a first down. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. Set looking to convert on this two-point try. The handoff to Matt Forte. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. right at the 30-yard line after that return. First down coming up. He's looking to the right here on this throw for about three. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. Quarters formation here for the defense. Looking to the right side and throwing. Right where it had to be. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good, the defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. Let's go. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting. That is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Second and two. Throws to the right. Dez Bryant with the catch. 
How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game, uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes, they go up, they make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. Gun, gun, gun. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Challenging the defenders to the right side and incomplete. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Cowboys official. DeMarco Murray's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Looking for an open receiver on the right. In the promised land. Touchdown. Nice job running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback, and we get a touchdown. Just couldn't keep it in bounds there. First down on the way. The ball tossed back to the quarterback. And the flea flicker is on here. And how about that? A flea flicker play, and it works. Yeah, I love these kind of plays. Why you call flea flickers reverses screens? Because you want to take advantage of a defense that's overplaying. And that was a nice call by the offensive coordinator. First down here after the completion. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time. He throws it down the field for another completion. Wide to the left. Now, looking at third down. Looking to the right side and throwing. A tackle that had to be made, and that'll set up fourth down. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Jay Cutler will take the snap out of the gun. The throw to the left. Change of possession coming up as they fail to pick up the first down on fourth down. They'll take that gift from the defense and line up now with a new set of downs. Tackle at the 29-yard line. Well, when you talk about edge players in the NFL, it means play on the edge, rush the quarterback, and stop the outside runs. How about that play by the defensive end? Romo's back in shotgun formation. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help them out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out, too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. Leading and with Let's possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. Kill, kill, kill. 
Romo standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. And Williams is brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Romo's going to take it from the gun. They fail to convert here on fourth down. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. Time is running out here in the fourth, and the defense is trying to preserve this win. Matt Forte gets it here. Outside runs take time, and when you run outside, you expect the safety to get up there with that extra time and make the tackle. Good job that time by the safety. Two-minute warning. Forte's in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. Second and nine, Matt Forte. He stacked up at that point. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Jay Cutler from the shotgun makes the catch in the open field. What a nice catch by the receivers getting past the yard markers, makes the catch and gets the first down. Let's see how they back up the big play here. The handoff to Matt Forte. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Forte's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Well, Matt Forte gets it here. Give that tackle to Sean Lee. Good job that time by the old line. How about that? Nice blocks, and they got a nice little run there inside the red zone. Offense lines up here. Third and goal from the seven. Action fake. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. to go throwing out wow what a time touchdown near the end of this one that time on fourth and goal the offense goes for it the defense is all excited they want to try to stop them and they make bad mistakes and give up the touchdown lining up now for the two-point conversion looking for a receiver and so they convert it here on the two-point try
Bears ready to kick the football. He'll start his return. Spins away from the tackle. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. First and ten. In trouble now. Throws to the right. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Got to have good feet as a quarterback in today's game. And it, well, that's always been the case. But when you get under pressure, you got to be able to move outside and see if you can make a play. The Cowboys head to the line. They've got one timeout left here in the fourth quarter. And he's intercepted. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Bennett's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. He'll fire it out to the left. The Bears now move the chains. A lot of ways you can play it here. You got a small lead, you're in the red zone. You stay aggressive, try to score, catch the defense off guard. Not me. I think I'd play it very safe. They've got a first down now after that catch. Cutler steps back into the gun, trying to work that left side. In zone bound, and he's got the touchdown. That may have been the clincher right there. Yeah, what a game all day long. So exciting to end it like this late in the game. Man, you enjoy victories like this. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. That kick came right at them, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Offense lines up here. Romo's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Tony Romo uncorks the long, and the pass is intercepted. It's going the other way, and this game is all but over. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Playing out of position in the backfield here. First and ten. Eyeing that left side. Swatted away. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. Second down after the incompletion. Cutler's got it in the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The Bears have to take their final timeout. That's it. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. This will probably wrap things up here. First and ten. 
under fire on that throw. That's going to do it here in this one.